Hey, this is Trey. I'm just going to make this quick video because uh looks like I've got someone having issues setting up a custom looks list. So I'm going to go over that in a little detail on how to do that properly. So let's uh, just download everything from scratch. So I'm going to download CFL. Go ahead and download the complete collection of looks. Before you install CFL, you need to go to enbdev.com. Click on News. Click on Download. Scroll down. Find Fallout 4. If you're installing it for Fallout 4. If you're not installing it for Fallout 4 and you're installing it for SSE, just go down here to Skyrim SE. But the procedure is the same regardless of which game uh, you're installing CFL for. So click on point three eleven in the in the case for Fallout 4. That's currently the latest binary. In the future, just download whatever's the newest binary. So for now, it's uh, point three one one. So go ahead and download that. Let's go, and, uh, go ahead and open up the EMB zip. All you need out of the EMB zip file are the two DLL files. So grab those and put them into the Fallout 4 game directory. I've already got them in here, so I'm going to go ahead and replace. You, need, you don't need anything else out of here. Just these files. Okay, next, let's install CFL. So here's our Fallout 4 directory, and then here's the CFL zip. So just pull main files. I've already got these two files in the game directory, but if you're installing it fresh, select everything. In my case, I just need the folder. So that put our EMB series folder there. And now for the look back, let's install that. And that's as easy as also just taking this EMB series folder and dragging it into the root Fallout 4 directory. And now it's installed. So when you install the complete looks pack, nothing changes as far as uh, which looks that you see in game. Uh, if you, you install the complete pack, that's set up so that you actually have to go in and select a looks list yourself. And you can do that by going to the EMB series folder and open up CFL look setup dot text. And you define which one of the looks that uh, looks list that you want to use. Uh, as of making this video, uh, CFL has six different selection possibilities. Uh, by default, it's set up for just the color grades, but if you down, uh, download any of the looks packs, if you download the complete pack, it's going to stay selected at color grades and you have to come in and manually change it. But if you get any of the individual packs, uh, like, let's say you only install Instagram filters, this will automatically be changed to a 2. And if you download modern, basically whichever single pack you download, when you install that pack, it will auto select for you. And so that that's easy. Uh, if you download the complete pack, it stays at option one and you have to come in here and manually change it to whichever one you want. Uh, so that's as simple as literally just changing this number here. Uh, but the reason I'm making this video is to go over how to set up the custom looks list. So let's set that to, right here where it says 6, let's set that to 6 for the custom looks list. We're going to save this text file and we're going to close it. Okay, once that's done, in fact, let me open it back up. This tells you right here where the user defined list is. It is located in the custom folder, which is right here inside EMB series, custom. Open that up and then this is the file that you need to edit to define your own list. Now if you scroll down here, I've got listed here all of the possible looks that you can add into the list above. And they're separated by category here. So just for the sake of demonstration, let's go back here to this post where this user was having some problems. Uh, he's saying here that he had list item 1 as technical or process 4 and list item 2 as faded Fuji. So let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, you can create a looks list that's very long, up to 39 options. Uh, and the reason for that limitation, uh, anything more than that, and the ENB will not show any looks that go beyond 39 because there's a, there's a hard limit on the number of effects that I can run at any one time. So let's go ahead and set up uh, Technicolor Process 4. The, the way you do this is you go down here and you select one of these lines 
and you just hit control C to copy or you can do it this way edit copy scroll up here and he had it in list item one so you just take this and you select all of it boom there's technicolor process four let's scroll down the next one he had was faded Fuji so I'm gonna select that copy it scroll back up and paste it here now I'm gonna save this file I'm gonna close it out okay so that's this that we just edited here now if I run the game the MB looks to this particular file here CFL look setup and goes oh if look selection is six then I need to include the code that's in custom looks list to tell the ENB which looks to show in the game. And if the look selection is five, I'm going to include this. And if it's four, this, and so on. Uh, th there's no need to edit these. Just leave them alone. Uh, that's why this is a, a .txt file and these are fxh. Uh, this is a .txt because I want it to be easily editable uh, by notepad or whatever random text editor someone may have. Now this here where it says always include, uh, this little comment here I just wrote here for myself. And basically what's going on here, ENB reads the code from top to bottom. So what's happening is it's loading whatever's defined here. So in our case we have six and it'll load these. And then no matter what your selection is up here, I've told the ENB to always include these particular looks after that. If I was to move them above this, then they would show up above whatever's selected here in the ENB technique menu in the game. If you want to give yourself three extra looks, you can go beyond 39 in the custom looks list if you just do this. So get your cursor right behind the hash and do two slashes and it will comment that out. Don't do that if you don't know what you're doing. But if you want to give yourself three extra slots going from 39, you can go all the way up to 42, you can get rid of that. And the reason that, that it's three instead of two is in this particular file here, there are actually two separate looks to find in the one file there. So that's two, and then this is one. I'm gonna get into this custom look in another video. Uh, but yeah, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave this alone. Which by the way, if you were to comment those out, If you want to take advantage of having, you know, extra list items, just take this and copy it. You don't even have to write this. Anything with like two slashes in front of it means that's a comment and it's going to ignore that. Also, anything that's in brackets like this. You can see here this starts with a slash and a star and then it ends on a star and a slash. That's basically telling the code to ignore anything in between these two symbols. And we're doing the same thing here with this line there and there. But yeah, if you comment out, you have to comment out those uh, things in the other file. And then you can come in here. And you can add three more slots for yourself. But I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so we've defined our custom list. And then we've got our two items that the user had defined. Uh, and he was having problems with. You don't have to move any files around. The, the folder structure and everything is already set up. So now I'm going to run the game. And there we go. It compiled without error. So let's open up the EMB menu. Pull up the console so I have mouse control. And as I pull this up, the two list items that we defined in the custom list are here. So we have process four and faded Fuji. Now, going back to earlier when I said uh, if you wanted to give yourself three extra slots, uh, let's go over again how to get rid of those. So I'm going to alt tab out of the game. And let's go back to CFL looks setup. And we're going to comment these out here. Now I'm going to save the file and pull the game back up. And now those looks are gone. 
So you will then have three extra slots that you can define in the custom list. Anyway guys, that about does it. I'll try to be a little more detailed in my documentation in the future. Uh, I've just kind of been cramming features into the ENB and I haven't slowed down long enough to make really good documentation that's easy to understand. I tried to set everything up uh, so that it's easy to edit things, but uh, admittedly I didn't uh, provide the best documentation. So I'm gonna try to improve on that. Anyway guys, have a great December, great holidays. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the next update out very soon. Uh, I'm purposely waiting on that because uh, the depth of field code that I use is from uh, Marty McFly. And uh, I'm waiting on him to release his next update because he has a, a nice feature, uh, an adjustment to the way the focusing works. So anyway, have a great holiday and I'll catch you guys in the next video.